Let's shift our attention to the Pacific now. On Saturday, a powerful volcano erupted. The impact was felt halfway across the world. There was a tsunami in Peru. From Japan to the United States, all major Pacific powers have sounded warnings. But there is little word from Tonga, the epicenter of this extraordinary explosion. Communication lines to this island nation have been snapped by the volcano. Our next report tells you more. It looked like a small mushroom cloud in satellite images. But this volcanic eruption in Tonga was so powerful that the impact was felt 10,000 kilometers away in Peru. This was the aftermath. Two people died in Peru due to the floodwaters. The waves battered boats in Japan and New Zealand. Floods lashed Fiji, Chile and Ecuador too. The volcanic eruption also triggered a sonic boom. It was heard as far away as Alaska in the US. This is the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano. It is under the water in Tonga. Its eruption has upended life in Tonga. The full extent of the damage is not yet clear. The phone lines are not working. New Zealand and Australia have sent surveillance flights. The whole of Tonga, there is no uh, communication uh, going out internationally because of uh, uh, all communication have been down at the moment internationally from Tonga. But uh, the information we receive is through the uh, satellite communication between uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs and the uh, High Commissioner of Australia in Tonga. So uh, what we know that the uh, local communication, it's been in place as we speak. So people can call to each other locally in Tonga, but international communication is still down. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says the damage is significant. The immediate worry is the supply of potable water. The flights undertaken today uh, will help us establish what needs there might be, as will the ongoing communication with officials on the ground. At the same time, though, we know water is an immediate need. The Hercules will be able to, we hope, um, take off today in order to meet that need much more quickly than our Navy vessels will be able to reach the islands. Up to 80,000 people could be affected in Tonga alone. Countries like the United States and Australia have pledged aid. But with heavy concentration of ash making flights impossible, it remains difficult to assess what Tonga really needs. The massive eruption has exposed another problem. The vulnerabilities in the global telecommunications system are out in the open. 95% of the global data transfer happens through fiber optic cables. They are spread out throughout the world's oceans. These fiber optics are critical infrastructure. The explosion in Tonga shows just how easily one natural disaster can snap these cables. Tonga joined the global telecommunication network only in the last decade. Reports say the volcanic eruption snapped the 872-kilometer-long fiber-optic cable, the same line that connects Tonga to the rest of the world. Restoring this connection could take up to two weeks. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.